Hey guys, Eric from Team Rec here. We have a locals deck profile. We have Kayvon, he just took first place with uh, Sword Soul. Actually swifted me just moments ago. But let's get right into the deck profile. Uh, if you have anything you wanna say right now, uh, uh, let's well, do it. I've been in retirement for a little bit, busy with school, but you know, it feels great to be back in the saddle, great to play again. I love this locals and uh, yeah, no, uh, you hear the applause for me. I mean, yeah, I I'm know, just, the crowd uh, goes wild. Honestly, I'm so touched, so touched. <laughs> But anyways, uh, time for the Sword Soul Bozos to rise up, so we'll get right. straight into Let's it. Let's just jump right in. So we're playing pretty standard ratio here. We're playing three Ecclesia, three Moe, double Taya, three Long Yuan, triple Emergence, and the one Blackout. Yeah. So that's all pretty standard Sword Soul stuff. No real uh, reinventing the wheel when it comes to the ratios. Uh, from there on, we have our 10E lineup, and we're playing a bit of a thicker 10E lineup right now. I'm okay. Playing... What's the reason? So the reason for it is just like the 10Es give you a higher ceiling. And while, yeah, it does mean you're more likely to brick on multiple games or something like that, it's better in this format to just have a higher ceiling. Take and be the risk. To, yeah. yeah, take the risk. Let so, your hand traps do the talking. Exactly. Brick. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, but anyways, we got three Ashina, three Vashuda, three Adhara, and the one Shithana, aka okay. the 10 Yi package, because yeah. it's literally 10, 10 of them. Yees. So nothing too, uh, nothing too crazy about that. Some people are trying uh, the fire one out, I think. Oh, okay. And uh, Mapura or something. Mapura, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I mean, if you want to try that out, that's fine. But I just find the water one better, and it's better under Gozen as well. And yeah. Okay. Yeah. So moving on from there, we have our kind of spell trap lineup for the tiny stuff, which is triple dragon circle we're playing double vessel so dragon circle with all the imperm effect veiler um everything like that going around the rescue ace cards of course to yeah, target targeting it's good to have any way to dodge them normally i was running like two but i just feel in this format you need as many as you can it's kind of like your straight pearly street exactly an equivalent it, there yeah. yeah so dodging hand traps is so important in targeting yeah. in general because also people are playing Fenrir and everything uh, for good reasons, crack card. And then double Vessel. I was off of Vessel for a long time, but part of the playing the bigger 10e package alongside it is that, again, this just gives you a, yeah, w worse bricks, much higher ceiling, okay. I feel. And also lets you play and set up the anti-nib line, things like that. So mm -hmm. I've been really liking it and uh, came really clutch a few times. Today. All right. Yeah. And then finally we have, uh, I consider this also a, basically engine, Double yeah. Desires. Uh, yeah, it's great. Uh, great card to draw on the uh, draw face, going second. And then finally our hand trap lineup, we're playing Triple Ash, Triple Droll, um, Triple Imperm, and for just kind of generic going second cards, Triple Droplet. Yeah, um, I like that. So it's a hand trap format, like I was saying, but I do like having, again, tools that can let me go second. Yeah. Um, the thing with this too is, obviously I just said how important dodging targeting is. It's kind of like heavenly in that sense too. It's exactly like sense, heavenly yeah. in that sense, yeah. Um, you get to just dodge more stuff and that's just great. Yeah. Uh, Droll's great. I mean, there's so, so many wacky decks right now, it's hard to prepare for everything. So it's good to just have something that blanket covers a decent amount and then Ash and Imperm are just very self-explanatory. Sorry for the three different rarities. I don't know what happened. Hey, happens. no worries. I'm the same way. <laughs> Is and Droll something you're on the fence about, or do you uh, like that in the main? I like it in the main. Okay. I, I had Valor here, and I also like Valor, but I just think this is better yeah. for the matchups that Sword Soul struggles with. Okay, yeah. that's fair. And finally, uh, moving on to our extra deck. Yeah. We're playing just the simple... Legendary Trifecta of level 10s for this deck. Their own Evil Long Yuan, uh, yeah. Su Supreme Sovereign. Uh, yeah, they're all great. Uh, this into the pearly matchup is good because you get to stop uh, yeah. my friend and everything like that. And of course, uh, Baron's great for going first, going second, protecting the floodgate, whatever you need. For sure. Um, we're playing Double Chi Zhao, Draco Berserker, Dragite for our kind of level eights. Um, this will be an SP Little Knight at some point or another, but I am not chilling that much out right now. I'm just going to wait for that price to settle. Might be waiting. Might be. Um, <laughs> then we have our Yang Zing package, so Chao Fang, Double Baxia, and Yazi. Yeah. So, um, 
Yazzie's great because he can't be targeted, which uh, did come up in our final match. <laughs> sure did. Beauty couldn't target it. Yeah, plays through boards pretty well. Baxi is just one of the best board breakers ever made. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. And then Chow Fang, of course, lets you lock out the light attribute pretty easily. And uh, so it's the anti nib, anti veiler, anti light deck line. Yeah. And then finally, for our links, we're playing Double Monk, one Shaman, one Land for Inctus. Um, Obviously, I was playing three monk, and three monk is good, but uh, I find two to be fine right now. Shaman's great; it's a crazy extender. And then land for Inctus. Um, so, this is one for the side deck stuff, and two because uh, it's also technically it a probably vanilla, goes with your vanilla ceiling, extra, right? And, yeah. Vanilla extra because you monster. get that vanilla board. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So sometimes uh, it's just good to have. Yeah. So, again, I would run SP if I could afford it. Slash was liquid enough for it, but it's okay right now. Moving on to the side though, triple evenly, triple nib, triple anti spell. We're playing triple barrier, double cosmic harpies. Okay. Uh, pretty standard stuff again. Uh, yeah. Evenly is just great into a lot of a lot of end boards uh, when they're not very negate heavy. Just like. Even if they're still up on it, you can play through what they leave on the field too with your engine. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. Even just getting rid of things like Fedrir or something like that that just could cause problems with the tennies yeah, are great. Less awkward. So Nib is actually one of the reasons we're playing this land for Inctus because uh, if we nib our opponent's board and then we have this and then we have like a handful of tennies, as long as we have any other normal summon, oh, we can just go into this. That's your out there. Yeah. yeah. Um, or enabler. And then D barriers cracked. Anti spell is pretty good. And then uh, this is just my kind of generic spell trap removal. Wish I could run a little more spell trap removal, but I mean, this is all the room I got, unfortunately. Feels like I need a 25 card uh, side deck with how wide the format is, but yeah, we're making it. We do. all feel that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fish shields are also another reason, actually, to run this. Uh, if you have a lot of tier in your locals or something, uh, having this. To get rid of your Druus Worms or Magna Mutts that are just sitting there. Oh, yeah. Another great thing. Good yeah. point. But I guess if you have the SP, there's also that. There's also <laughs> that, too. Exactly. So, yeah. That's yeah. everything. And then... Uh, oh, what's this? The Field Center profile? Okay. Token profile. So, we got nice. Corn Fire Emblem. I can Fire Emblem. The Nib token. My favoritest token ever. And then... Just awesome. <laughs> well, sweet deck profile. Um, check out his YouTube channel. It's Yozoi. Y-O-Z-Z. Oh, why? Okay. And um, yeah, stay tuned for more from him. Sorts of bozos rise up. Yeah. <laughs> Take care.